Hello Pisces, thank you for tuning in to my channel. So this is going to be a reading for April the 1st through April the 15th through 2019. What is in store for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising. Please check your um, sun, moon, rising. Um, you can also do Venus if you like. Um, what's happening? This is for Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. This is basically love, you know, we're going to be looking at love, general, anything that the tarot has to say. So what is it? Spirit guides, guardian angels, what is the message? I'm connecting with Piscean's energy. Okay, uh, right off the bat, you could be dealing with a fire sign Pisces or a Scorpio, okay? Um, you could also be dealing with an earth sign. I'm seeing there's an opportunity here that uh, you're possibly debating on whether to take it or not, you know? Um, I feel like uh, with the page of, of uh, coins in reverse... There's some kind of laziness behind uh, your actions, okay? And um, it's like you're not wanting to make a decision about um, a situation. Um, it could be, uh, you know, maybe it is uh, some kind of celebration, some kind of get-together, a union. Um, maybe you're you think that, you know, this is a ce you're celebrating too soon, okay? And uh, so you're not taking up this offer that um, a partner wants to, you know, celebrate some kind of get together. Um, and you're like, no, I don't think so. You know, I'm pushing it back. I'm pushing it back. I don't feel like uh, I need to. Uh, we need to do that at the moment. Maybe you're not finding this person attractive enough to feel connected. I feel like there is a completion here with the world card. The world card is the last card in the major arcana. Okay. It is about success. It is about victory. But here we have someone, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. We have also, I feel like, you know, this could be, um, someone is definitely being too clingy. Needing to move away from work, needing to take a break, needing to pull back from a situation, okay? I feel like, you know, um, with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, um, I feel like there's some sort of laziness. Um, there's stagnation of skills. And then we have the Queen of uh, Pentacles here. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles uh, represents um, you know this is somebody who finds joy out of everything you know this is somebody who's very grounded I feel like there's there's the Queen of Pen the Queen of Coins um, has everything that she needs, okay? So therefore, there's an offer that's being taken, that's being offered to this, um, to you, okay, Pisces? And I just feel like, you know, um, you're, you're definitely not going to take it, you know? Uh, you don't feel like it's going to be successful. You feel like it's, it's, you know, it's not a grounded energy and, um, You could also be taking credit for someone else's work, okay? I mean, someone else could be taking credit of your work. And uh, now they're wanting to celebrate this, okay? Whoever this person is, this could be an Aries, okay? You could be dealing with an Aries. Um, you could have been putting in all the work, Pisces, um, with this um, Aries individual here and now there's some kind of celebration um and everybody's looking at the emperor here as uh the one who has done all the work but really it's really you that have put in all the work and all the effort 
Um, and now there's definitely going to be a celebration here, you know, uh, but it's like you're not pushing for it. You're not going to go. You're not going to be there, you know. I feel like you are taking action into getting revenge here, uh, Pisces energy. I feel like you're definitely with the magician in reverse. You could be thinking of certain ways to... Uh, you know, come out and say, hey, look, I've, I'm the one who's been doing all the work, not you. You know what I mean? I feel like you're definitely going to stand up to your, uh, to this person and really lift this heavy burden off your shoulders. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to speak your mind. You're going to shine. You're going to get out there and, you know, you're going to fight your battles that this individual is putting off, um, taking all the credit for, okay? Um... You know, this is someone who is uh, definitely playing tricks. They could definitely be playing tricks on you. Um, but I feel like you're turning them tricks around, okay? And onto him on or onto her, okay? You're putting an end to it. You're putting a death to it. You're not taking um, what this person has to give to you. You're, you know, it's, it's not successful right here. Uh, I feel like Pisces... Um, you know, you could be, um, clinging on to, you know, you're working very hard. Uh, I feel like you're working very hard and it's causing your ego to step in the way as well. Um, and that's why there's a sense to pull back from this situation, okay? Um, I feel like there's definitely an ending here with possible partnership with this person. I feel like this person, um... It could be an air sign, Pisces, uh, but I feel like, you know, this is about you speaking your truth about what's really, how you really feel, okay? And um, this makes a full circle, a full completion for you, uh, Pisces. It's like, you're not taking any crap this week, okay, Pisces? There is an individual who is very, very pushy and who's bossing you around and telling you what to do and you seem to be doing it and you're doing a great job at it, okay? You're doing too much of a job at it and um, now it's like, you know, you're sick of it. Uh, you're definitely going to speak up for yourself and, um, you know, you're going to let everyone know um, that this person has not been doing the work. You have been doing the work, okay? And it's definitely going to get out into the open. Is there any more messages coming through here for Pisces Energy? Yeah, we have the nine of coins here. The nine of coins represents success, victory, someone who has fought their battles very well, someone who is independent, not relying on anybody. Okay, this is someone who stands on their own too. Uh, they're not needy. They're uh, very secure. Um, and some people see that and want that, okay? And I feel like... Um, you know, with the Sun card in reverse right here, against the Nine of Pentacles, you know, it's like what you have been glossing over, what you have been um, putting off on to this other person this other person's been taking your power you know you're like saying you know i'm not gonna let that happen no more i'm not gonna let you shine my light i'm taking my sun back okay i'm taking the light back and letting it shine on me that's what's happening with you pisces this week um and anything else yeah uh you're definitely um staying on top you're dealing with this person who is causing you, who is trying to throw you off balance. But I don't see that ha that happening. I see you thinking of and plotting. I see you plotting a way um, of, you know, of success, of making a comeback, of, you know, you, you can do the work. I, I feel like, you know... Um, in the past, there was definitely a missed opportunity. I feel like uh, this person has made you cold and bitter. And now you're definitely um, changing for the better for yourself, Pisces. You're taking back the energy. You're not letting your ego get to you. Um, 
there's and there's you know that there's still work that needs to be done and um you're not going to take no for an answer you're going to speak your mind whether it is uh, bold or not and you're going to find the partnership that you want okay uh that makes you happy that makes you fulfilled um this ace of this ace ace of swords here in in reverse it's a miscommunication so it's like you know that's why there's definitely work that needs to be done because there was some sort of miscommunication here especially with the devil in reverse here um you know it's like you have been letting this person control you and now you're not letting this person this person control you. They made you cold and bitter. They made you miss an opportunity. Now you're taking back that power this week, uh, Pisces. You're taking back your power. All right, and I'm going to pull some cards here for Romance Angels. And there could definitely be a new love here with the Ace of Cups. There's someone coming in here, okay? Definitely. Um, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, this is for Pisces Energy. What is the message here? You deserve love. And you do deserve love. I feel like you've been letting people run you over or not even run you over, but it's like you've been doing their work, you know. Now it's time to uh, do your own work and let yourself shine. And I feel like there's someone out there, even though you're in separation or you're definitely time apart, probably because you've been working so much, okay. And now you're realizing, look, I deserve love, you know. Um, I feel like, you know, you could meet this person that um, is coming into your life uh, with friends. This could be one of your friends that, um, or you could be going to a gathering as well. Um, I, yeah, I do. I feel like you could be going to a gathering after you state the fact that, you know, um, After you tell the truth, after you speak your truth, you know, because you're taking your power back here uh, from the emperor. The emperor didn't do nothing. You put in all the work. And now there is going to be a get together. There's going to be a party. But it's like you called it off and now you're definitely going to go for it. Okay. And I feel like you, uh, you're definitely going to be hanging out with your friends. Um, you know, uh, I feel like there is some sort of separation with someone that you have been dealing with and it could be that person um that you've been doing all the work for it doesn't necessarily have to be like at a job i feel like it could be an ex or something or it could be um on the horizon an ex um but there's definitely a new love coming in and that's why it's saying you do deserve love you know um unrequired love here uh, unrequired love. There's not enough attraction. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this going. And that's what you've been dealing with. And that's why you've been putting in all the work. And now it's like, you know, I'm not letting this person take anything else from me. I'm separating myself from this person. And, you know, I'm, I am, uh, ascending, uh, myself to a higher level. And, um, this is for yourself, you know, this engagement. You're engaging yourself higher within the physical and knowing that you deserve better, and that's awesome. So let's see what you can expect um, these two weeks. Pisces Energy. This is the Lenormand deck. What can Pisces expect this week? get down straight down to it with the Lenormand deck oh well there's definitely a house you could be looking into a house um, you could be purchasing a house you could be selling a house um, Wow well, you could be going to somebody's house um, you could be invited to somebody's house at night um, there definitely could be a, a some kind of um,
Let's check this out. Then we have expansion. We have growth. Um, especially enterprise. I feel like, you know, um, you're gambling here. You're playing with, with what it is that you want. You're finding stability within your wishes, okay? And this is sort of like, you know, I'm taking that leap of faith. I'm taking that risk. Um, there is going to be a romance here that is going to be giving you a gift, Pisces. Uh, you will get some sort of gift. Um, possibly uh, from a Divine Feminine or a Divine Feminine, you will receive a gift because if you look, she is holding a rose here and there is a bouquet of roses here, okay? Um, and it's about romance, you know? I feel like, you know, um, you probably will uh, talk over the internet and um, I see a lot of movement. I see you traveling. I see um, you guys coming together and um, building something strong together as well okay so we have you know a, this is about strong security um you're gambling with your secu with your security here you're you're feeling lucky you know with your wishes you know you feel strong here okay um there's also a romantic uh par partner here like i said with the ace of cups i feel like you guys could definitely be finding each other um either at school college on the internet somewhere um and you guys are definitely going to be moving and ascending to a higher um, relationship, engaging as well, um, communication. Um, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck of this. Yeah, it says stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. All right, Pisces, thank you much. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you later.